How y'all good people doing? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video. If you're stopping by the channel for the first time, please consider subscribing to my channel. And while you're at it, smash that like button for me. I really would appreciate it. Also hit that post notification bell so that you're notified every time I upload a new video. Be careful down in the comment section of the videos. A lot of spam, a lot of scammers. I will never ask you to contact me by WhatsApp or Telegram. I also do not invest money for my subscribers. So please be careful. Don't get yourself scammed. If you want up to 12 free stocks, Weeble is going to give you up to 12 free stocks when you open a new Weeble brokerage account. Put any amount of money in that brokerage account. They're going to give you up to 12 free stocks for just trying out the brokerage app. There's a link down in the description box of this video. Go click on that Weeble link. Open up your new Weeble account today. Go get that free stock. Go get that free money. I'm going to also send you a Weeble tutorial video to walk you through how to use the Weeble app to make your first trade. All you got to do is send me an email. Email address down in the description box of this video. Send me that email. Let me know you've opened the Weeble account. Let me know you've funded the Weeble account. And I'm going to send you that Weeble tutorial video so that you can start building wealth immediately. Guys, the haters, they are coming out of the woodwork. I have been getting some really interesting uh, comments in, in, in several of my most recent videos. And I'm even going as far as getting emails. Uh, and, and, and I wonder why all this started because, you know, before I started really doing these live streams, I just did the, the edited content. You know, I would do my standard 10 minute, 15 minute video. I, I, I would put it up on YouTube and, and pretty much go about my business. But lately I've been doing these live streams and I've been, I've been really spending some time giving y'all my opinion on building wealth. And the haters are really starting to come at me. And the reason I believe they're coming at me is because anytime someone is trying to help people get to freedom, um, oftentimes, oftentimes, they, they are met with resistance. Not necessarily from the people they're trying to help, but from those who benefit keeping people in the financial dark, right? There, there, there is a, a, a population of people who want to keep you financially illiterate. They don't want you to learn anything about how you can take control of your own financial destiny. They don't want you to know anything about building wealth. So when you get somebody like me who comes on YouTube every single day spreading this financial gospel, people get upset. And I think that's what's starting to happen. But you know me, I'm a pretty resilient guy. I'm not going to let that deter me from the mission. Now, they can come at me all they want to and say, I don't I'm broke. I, 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 I don't know anything about building wealth. You know, what I talk about in my videos ain't accurate. They come at me with my titles of my videos. Oh, they're clickbait titles. You know, you can't take $1,000 and turn it into millions. I'm like, what? who says you can't? Yeah, you can. I took $150 every two weeks and turned it into millions. Why can't you? You can. You can take $1,000 and turn it into millions if that's what you want to do. If you set your mind to that, if you reprogram your mind, you can. But that's the trap. These folks don't want you to know anything about building wealth. They don't want you to control your own time. They don't want you to control your own financial destiny. They want to keep you financially illiterate. They want you to stay dependent upon them, stay dependent upon the system. 
That's the only way they can control you is keep you dependent on them and the system. Don't be, guys, don't fall into that trap. I don't have to prove to nobody that I'm not broke. I don't have to, oh, you never show any receipts. Show us your brokerage statements. Show us your bank statements. I'm like, why do I gotta show you all that? This is my opinion. If you don't like it, find another channel to listen to. But don't be coming in here sending me emails and, 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 and commenting down in the, the comment section of the videos. And, and, and before they took my Instagram account away, they would obviously attack me on Instagram. And a lot of folks are like, hey, man, you know, your Instagram, why, yeah, maybe that has something to do with why my Instagram ain't active right now. I don't know. Right? I don't know. I just know. What I know is there are a group of people who do not want you guys to know anything about building wealth. They want you financially illiterate because that's how they can control you. That's how they can manipulate you. That's how. So when a guy like me comes on here and says, hey, guys, I'm just like you. I'm from I'm from the bottom. I took $150 every two weeks and start putting it in the assets to build wealth and created millions. They don't like that. They don't like that because that gives every other person out there hope. See, hope's a powerful thing, guys. When you galvanize it the right way and you get behind it the right way and you connect with other people the right way, hope is powerful. The only way they can control you is they got to Squash your hope. And that's what I do on this YouTube channel. I give people financial hope. Now, what that means, I don't know. I don't know what is in store for me when it comes to this YouTube channel, when it comes to getting my Instagram page back, when it comes to any of this social media stuff, because, see, I don't control any of it. Right. All I can do is make honest content, man. And if they want to take my YouTube channel because I'm making honest content, I can't help that. I'm not going to get on here and just lie to people. I'm not going to get on here and just scam people. I'm not going to get on here and say, yeah, pay me $50 a month and, I, and, and, and come over here to my Discord channel. Come over here to my Patreon. And then guess what? I ain't going to give you nothing other than a bunch of. See, I ain't trying to do none of that. Everything I do, I'm doing right here for free. Oh, well, you talk about Weeble too much. You talk about Weeble. Why you got to talk about Weeble? Why wouldn't I talk about Weeble? It's a brokerage app that I use, and it's benefited me. Why wouldn't I share with my audience, my subscribers, something that benefited me? Oh, you, you get paid because you, see, that's why you talk about Weeble. You spend too much time talking about Weeble. Listen, guys, I spend very little time talking about Weeble in my videos. I'm going to mention Weeble in the beginning and I'm going to mention it in the end. That's how I roll in most of my videos. And I'm okay with that. There's nowhere it's written that I can't share an idea with my people that follow me. And if my people that follow me like that idea and they want to rock with it, that should be okay. But again, though, what is the real purpose here? The real purpose is to not give you any financial tools so that you can build wealth. They want to keep you financially illiterate. They don't want you having tools. What they want you to do is pay them a bunch of money to give you nothing. That's what they want. They want to keep you on that hamster wheel. They want to keep you in that treadmill. They want to keep you in this rat race for the rest of your life. And when a guy like me comes on here and says, no, you don't have to do that anymore. Here are some steps that I took to get myself off of the hamster wheel. 
here are some steps that I took to get myself out of that rat race. They don't like that. They don't like that. See, I'm not coming at you all, you know, showing you the private jets. I'm not coming at you showing you all this other stuff. Now, they're going to knock on me and say, well, golly, you showed your cars in the beginning when you first started your YouTube channel. You showed your cars. But you got to understand something, guys. When I was really heavily showing my cars, I wasn't even doing financial content. Yes, did I have a little 30-second homemade low-budget trailer that I put on the front end of my videos when I really started this thing in 2020 just to capture attention? Absolutely. But that's being a smart business person. But, but once you got into the video, I didn't spend any time on cars. But I knew if I would throw that little trailer up there at the beginning of the video when I had zero subscribers, I knew it would get some clicks. But when I got the clicks and they got into the video, they understood quickly it wasn't about the cars. It wasn't about me. It was about getting you to your freedom. That's why my channel grew. It didn't have anything to do with the cars. People cared less about the cars. They wanted to know what did you do to be able to put yourself in a position to have the lifestyle you're leading today? Because I love to have my own lifestyle. Share with me, what did you do? And that's what I started doing in 2020. Just sharing, giving you guys financial tidbits, nuggets. And you guys started to grow. This thing started to grow. Now this thing has done grow to almost 700,000 people. And now all of a sudden, haters coming out the woodwork, especially since I've been doing these live streams, coming out of the woodwork. See, because in these live streams, I can just give it to you like I want to give it to you. Whereas in the edited videos, I might go back and cut stuff out and it's a little 10 or 15 minute deal. But I do both because there's a place for both. This notion of I'm broke, Ah, he got to be broke because he don't show, never show no receipts. He don't never show his broker statements. He don't never show bank statements. He talk about he make all these trades and Tesla and all this stuff, but he don't never show it. Got to be broke. This joker don't know nothing about financial freedom. That's the enemy, man. And I'm not saying any specific person. I'm just telling you guys that that's the enemy coming trying to take me down so that I'm not sharing with you guys the real financial truth about what goes on in this country. This is the real financial truth. This ain't no, okay, guys, um, I've given you a little bit, but I want you to come to this seminar. Go ahead and pay you $300, come to the seminar, and then when I get you to the seminar, I got a whole bunch of jokers in there trying to upsell you to something else, and then upsell you to something else, and then upsell you to something else. See, them are the people that are coming at me saying, uh-uh, we can't have this guy here telling people they don't have to do all that stuff. Because this is, this is how we get rich. We're going to get rich off selling them the dream. But we ain't going to never tell them how to get the dream. We're just going to sell them the dream. We're going to sell them on the dream. Before you know it, you got ten or twelve, fifteen thousand dollars. You're out of pocket because a joker done told you he gonna teach you how to do this and that and this and that with real estate, but he don't teach you nothing. He just take your money. You get behind, you know, you get these jokers behind these paywalls. Fifty dollars a month, hundred dollars a month. Oh, I'm gonna teach you how to clean your credit. I'm gonna teach you how to defraud people. I'm gonna teach you how to defraud banks. Now they ain't gonna tell you. Like that, they're teaching you how to defraud banks. But that's basically what they're trying to teach you. Listen, guys, let me tell you something. You ain't got to listen to me. I'm going to be okay. They take my YouTube channel, and, and, and I can't get on here and, and express myself the way I want to express myself. If they do do that, I'm going to be okay. Why? Because I'm going to go out and, and, and make it happen some other way. I get back into real estate full time if I want to. I got enough money to get back into real estate full time. I got enough money to just kick back and just concentrate on building the, the paper assets portfolio. But see, this is what I'm passionate about. But I'm not going to be silenced. I'm not going to have people intimidate me 
or try to intimidate me. That's not going to happen. I'm not going to let anybody intimidate me because what I'm doing is the right thing. I'm trying to show people a way that they can get to their freedom. I'm talking about the, the 99%. I'm not trying to carve out the little 1% and try to get 1% of people to, to wealth. I'm trying to get the 99% to wealth because that's who need it, right? That's who I focus on. I, I'm not worried about somebody that's already a millionaire. I'm not worried about somebody that's already, already at their freedom. I'm trying to help folks that need to get the freedom. That's who I'm trying to help. And I ain't got to show no receipts. What do I got to show receipts for? I already told y'all, this is not a convince you channel. This is an opinion channel. This is not a convince you channel. I'm not trying to convince you that I'm rich. I'm not trying to convince you that I'm wealthy. I'm not trying to convince you of any of that. Because if I was trying to convince you of that, guys, it ain't hard to just get fake documents and just, boop, there you go on the screen. That ain't hard. You get a little a computer, a little software, a printer, boom, you're in business. I'm not trying to take you around into every little place I go and show you every little thing I buy. No, that's not what this is about. Yeah, do I introduce some things to you guys like the dream house? Absolutely I do. Because I'm excited about that part of my life and I wanted to share it with my audience who've been rocking with me. And I also wanted to let you guys understand the concept behind when you get to your freedom, you can do whatever you want to do. What's on your bucket list. This was on my bucket list. All I'm telling you is be careful out there. There are a lot of wolves in sheep clothing. Please be careful out there. I'm still getting, I ain't, my, my Instagram account ain't even freaking up and running guys. And I'm telling you, you got five or six impersonating Richard Fanes still on Instagram operating and the real Richard Fain, they done disabled my whole account. What the heck is that? Who behind that? I mean, come on, bro. You got four or five. Matter of fact, you got more than that because I got people emailing me telling me. Some of my followers from Instagram, have, or they also follow me on, on, on YouTube, so they got my email address. And they already emailing me saying, man, you ain't even on Instagram. The real Richard Fane ain't even on Instagram. But you got five, six, seven, eight, ten impersonating Richard Fane still on Instagram, up and running. Nothing wrong with their page, but they done took my page down. Y'all tell me that ain't something ain't funny about that. Ain't something ain't fishy about that. Come on, man. Come on, man. Come on, man. But yet and still, you trying to tell me you can't go through my Instagram account. Look at everything I done posted. Look at all my DMs. And you won't see no scam anywhere in there. You won't see no conversations with me about nobody. Send me money so I can invest for you. Send me money so I can set up a Forex account for you. Send you money so I can set up a crypto account. Nothing. You don't see any, none of that ever happened on my Instagram page. What, 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 I, I, I'm going to tell you what, what, what probably ticked the whole thing off was because I refused to pay the $15 and I talked about it and I said I refused to pay it. And then all of a sudden, next thing I know, after the last video I talked about, I refused. It was a live stream. I said, I refuse to pay it. Boom. My account shut down. Who behind that? Who behind that? I don't know. I don't know who behind it, but I can't worry about that because I can't control that. All I can control is what? The content. All I can control, guys, is to give you the content. That's all I can give you. I can give you the content as I see it. I can give you how to build wealth as I see it. Now, whether you want to go down that path and build wealth, that's on you. That ain't on me. That's on you. My job is to give you information. What you do with that information is on you. The problem is there is a section. I'm going to say it, the 1%. And all their, all their minions. The 1% and their minions. The real 1% and the fake 1%. So you got the real 1% and then you got a, 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 the minions, fake one percenters who do nothing but prey on you 
to build wealth and get to their lifestyle. That's all they do, right? They prey on you. They use you. Oh, you, uh, with the weeble, you tell it. Listen, guys, if you don't want to do weeble, don't do it. I mean, I'm not going to lose any sleep, right? If you don't want to sign up for a financial session with me, don't do it. It's pretty simple. But if you followed my thing here on YouTube since 2020, if you follow me, if you go back and look at all my videos from 2020 till now, please go in there. Find one video. I'm going to say I got about 800 videos up since 2020 to current. Please go in there and find one video, one video that I'm, that I'm, I'm trying to get you guys to do something that I'm not doing. The only thing you can ever point to that I've tried to get you guys to consider is Weeble and RF Financial Consulting, which is my company. And all we do in that company is you have a one on one conversation with me. That's it. That's all I've ever asked you guys to consider in four years on this YouTube platform. I'm not, I, I've talked about putting courses together, but ultimately I said to myself, Richard, that ain't your lane right now. You don't worry about that. Because see, when you start doing all of that, when you start putting the courses and, 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 the, and, and the discords and the, all of this stuff to generate income from people, when that becomes first, you lose sight of why you're really doing all of this and say, I ain't trying to lose sight of why I'm doing it. So I'm not trying to, could I make five, six, seven hundred thousand dollars more a year doing what I do? Yes, I could. All I got to do is create some courses. All I got to do is create a podcast. All I got to do is get some discord. All I got to do is say, oh, I got this. I got this. I got that. I got that. Won't y'all pay for it? I'm going to send it to you. Oh, all I got to do is go get somebody to write a book for me. Boop, throw that up at y'all too. Okay, guys, $9.99, $10.99. Here's the book. Let's go get what I'm telling you guys is. There's many other things I could be doing on this channel, but that's not in line with why I started this channel, at least the financial literacy part of it. What I wanted to do in this financial literacy part was to get on YouTube, get access to 4.5 billion people who have access to the Internet. And I wanted to find the ones who were looking to build wealth because I was one of those people. I can remember the days when I didn't have no net worth. I can remember the days when I didn't have no good credit. It was bad. I can remember the days when I had no emergency fund. I can remember those days. And I know how it felt. I make more than enough money, guys, doing what I do. Enough is enough. I don't need to try to bleed you guys dry on every little thing out there i'm not the others that want to do that that's their business all i want to do is get on here make good content and, and help as many people get to financial freedom as i can that's it i'm not showing no receipts i'm not going to try to convince you i'm just going to make the content and those that want to stick around and watch, watch. So I, get a, I, had a, I had another one yesterday basically said, oh, I like the content, but your live stream that you did for two hours was too long. I'm like, too long? Dude, ain't nobody forcing you to stay on the live stream if you don't want to be on there. Ain't nobody forcing you to watch the video once the live stream is over if you don't want to. What me doing a live stream for two hours got to do anything with you? How you going to tell me how long I should have my live stream? And it's my YouTube channel. It's just ridiculous, man. It's just getting out of hand with some folks. But I know it's the enemy. Because, see, I'm starting to strike a chord, right? I'm starting to talk about the real things that really happen in this country when it comes from a, to a financial standpoint. How does this, how this thing really work? The video I did yesterday, that's how it really works. That's how it really works. And a lot of people don't like y'all knowing that because I'm telling you, man, when you got financial hope and enough people got financial hope, it will affect their pocketbooks. It will because you're going to reprogram yourself and say, you know something? Hmm. Nah, I ain't buying that. 
I'm done. I ain't buying that. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take this money and put it in assets that can build wealth for me. I'm done, I'm done with these folks. Yeah, I'm working for these, these folks over here, and I appreciate the job. But you know something? I'm tired of making them wealthy. At some point, I need to figure out how to make me wealthy. See, they don't want you knowing that. They don't want you thinking that way. That's dangerous. That affects their pocketbook. That affects their bottom line. It really does. So me coming on here every single day telling you, listen, guys, here's what you need to do, in my opinion, to get you your freedom. That's why you get a lot of people, well, hey, I ain't got 20 years. I ain't got 30 years. I, I want to do it right now. Well, hey, guys, do it right now. The odds are against you, though. And now I'm not trying to be negative. I'm just telling you the statistics say you, most people don't do it right now. All I'm telling you is, is instead of setting unrealistic goals for yourself, set some realistic ones. For me, it was 20 years. See, because I knew I was starting from zero. And I knew I wasn't a sharpest knife in the damn drawer. I wasn't the sharpest knife. I said, I got to figure out something. I got to take baby steps. Then I'll start walking. Then I'll start running. So I start off baby steps, $150 every two weeks, baby steps. Just so that I could get to the point where I had enough financial confidence to do more. I can't go from not investing one penny to investing $10,000 a month. People just don't do that. What I try to encourage people to do is just take whatever you can afford. Number one, you got to get your four basic financial principles straightened out first. You got to do that first. Right? If you won't do those four things, how in the world are you going to build wealth? You not. So please, guys, be careful out here on this Internet. Be careful out here on these social media platforms. I'm not telling you I'm the only guy you should listen to. That's not, that's not what I'm telling you. Listen to whoever you want to listen to. But what I'm trying to tell you is you have to take your power. You cannot give your power to somebody else. You take your power. You control your power. You turn your power into positive financial movement for you. Don't have somebody else controlling your power. You'll never get the freedom if you let someone else control your power. You got to control it. And they don't want you to control it, though, because that puts them in jeopardy. A lot of people make their living because they have someone else's power. They do. I don't want your power. All I want you to do is think. All I want you to think. Just like I said yesterday in uh, the live stream uh, that I did. I said, listen, guys, at some point, you got to sit down with yourself and have this tough conversation. You do. You cannot put your financial freedom on someone else's back. You got to tote it on your own back. You got to carry it. No one else can carry it for you. You got to carry it. I don't care what people tell you. I don't care what these gurus tell you. Listen to me, man. If somebody is trying to teach you how to do something, right? That, if they're trying to teach you how to do something and they're telling you they've made millions and millions and millions and millions of dollars doing that, right? But now they're going to teach you to do it. But they want some money from you. They want you to give them some money. Why not just get on YouTube and teach it for free? You're going to get the ad revenue money, right? Now, it's a different story if you see that person and you say, hey, I'm rocking with this guy. He giving some good stuff on here for free. Yeah, okay, yeah, maybe I will invest in myself and, 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 and spend some one-on-one -on -one time with that person. I'm okay with that. 
long as you vet the person and you understand who they are, you're comfortable with them, you get out and do an independent search on these folks. That's why I tell y'all all the time, you ain't got to take my word for who I am. Just get out on the net. Type in my name. You can find me. It's all public record, guys. It ain't hard. I don't have nothing to hide. I don't have anything to hide. Nothing. I am who I am. I spent 25 years in banking. That's public record, guys. Go out and look. I spent three years in the NFL prior to me getting into banking. That's public record, guys. Go out there and look. The real estate that I currently own, public record. Somebody, oh, why are you living in a duplex? I'm like, du duplex? So they look at the back of my yard here, my back of my house. They say it's a duplex. <laughs> why are you living in a duplex if you had financial freedom? Why you would have, I'm like, well, even if I, even if I chose to live in a duplex, does that mean I can't be at financial freedom? I just choose to live in a duplex. But this is not a duplex. It's a single family house. My house. But I don't have to go dig up the warranty deed to prove that it's my house. Why, why should I do that? I don't have to do that. The other house that I was at the other day, I did a video in that house. Somebody, oh, I thought you, I thought you had a dream house. I thought you bought a, what, why are you in this? See, this is what I'm telling you. They don't even try to follow the, the content on a, on, a, on a regular basis. They don't even try to go back and look at any of the prior content. They just pop in, see stuff, and go to making accusations that are false. Right? But I can deal with that because that's just a few. The majority of you guys have been wonderful to me since I've been on YouTube. You've been wonderful to me on my Instagram page before they, they canceled me. Somebody canceled me. I don't know who canceled me because I did nothing wrong, guys. I did nothing wrong, but I got canceled. But, but, but prior to me getting canceled, many of you guys have followed me on my, my, my Instagram page. Some of you guys follow me on my Facebook page. But the majority of you guys follow me here on YouTube. And I love the YouTube platform because I get to express my opinion. The right way. I'm not here downgrading anybody or bringing anybody down. I'm just telling you, in my opinion, how our financial system in America works. But I'm a proud American. I feel fortunate that I can live in America. I don't have a problem with America and its financial system because I understand how it works and I've benefited from it. All I'm trying to get you guys, I'm not trying to get you to hate America. I'm not trying to get you to hate the financial system. I'm just trying to get you to understand this is what's happening, but you can benefit from it and get to your freedom. That's all I'm trying to, get, to hip you guys to. I'm not trying to have some people out here being against America. That's ridiculous. Why would I do that? I love America. This is, my, this is where I was born. This is, this is where I'll die. But that doesn't mean it's perfect because it's not. This country isn't perfect, but no country is. My goal here is not to get into politics. My goal here is not to get into all these other areas. My only goal is to get into how to help you get to financial freedom. That's my only goal. I'm not interested in the rest of it. I'm just not. I don't care about the rest of it. What I care about is how can I help people control 100% of their time and control their own financial destiny? Because, see, that's where their power is. That's where your power is. That's where your independence is. That's where it's at. It's right there. Financial freedom is where your power is. And without financial freedom, you're going to always, always, always have someone else controlling your power. Whoever pays you controls your financial power. Remember that, guys. Wherever you get paid from, you can get paid from somebody else or you can get paid from yourself. I'd rather get paid for myself. I had somebody for 25 years that had part of my power. They didn't have 100% of my power because all the time I was working for them, 
I was over here with these side hustles, building real estate book of business, investing in the stock market, creating side hustles. Now, they did have some of my power. They didn't have it all, though. And at some point, at one day, I knew I would take 100% of my power back. And I did four years ago. Oh, shoot. I retired at 30. I retired at 25. I retired at 40. You were still working at 50. What, how do, what do you know about financial freedom? What in the heck does when I retire have anything to do with me talking about helping people get to their freedom? If you get to your freedom at 25, congratulations. If you get to your freedom at 35, congratulations. If you get to your freedom at four, whenever you get there, congratulations. It's not about me trying to keep you working for somebody for 30 years. It's not about that. It's about me being transparent, telling you what my journey was and why I took the route I took. I told you I took the route I took because I knew nothing when I started at 26. And I was taking baby steps. And all along taking them baby steps, I just kept learning and I kept taking action, kept learning, kept taking action. More money I make, more I invest. I learned that over the years. So that's the reason why I'm out here, guys, on this YouTube, so that I can help you guys collapse time frames, and it don't have to take you that long, as it took me. It don't. You can do it as fast as you want to do it, but you better be prepared to pay the financial price. So this is what I try to tell people. If you want to get to freedom in two years, then you better be prepared up here and with this to pay the financial price. You ain't got to wait 20 years like me. I took 20 years because that was what was comfortable for me. I didn't want to have a lot of financial pressure on me. I had little kids at the time. I, 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 I was just trying to get myself to a point where I, I was more valuable in the banking industry so I could command a higher salary. I didn't have, I, I didn't want to, I didn't want to be out here burning the candle at both ends. So I gave myself 20 years and I'm okay with that. At 51 years old, boom, I'm free. I'm okay with that. Now, if you're not okay with that, no problem. All you got to do is get a plan together that'll get you there as fast as you want to get there. That's all you got to do. Right? My goal here is just to give you information give you information, teach you and help you understand financial breadcrumbs that the 1% drop so that you can understand how they're moving. And if you can understand how they're moving, you have an opportunity to capitalize on that because they don't want you to know how they're moving. I already told you that, guys. The whole point of our financial system is to keep 99% of you guys from knowing nothing. <laughs> So you can get out there and spend every dime you make to make 1% rich and wealthy. I I've told you guys that. That's the whole point. The whole point is to keep 99% of you guys on that hamster wheel. To keep 99% of you guys in the rat race. As long as they can keep you there. If they can keep you there to 62, even better for them. The only way, the only way you duck and dodge and get out of their way is if you build wealth. I've told you, whoever pays you controls your financial power, period. Whoever pays you. Whoever pays you, that's who controls your financial power. Because guess what? If they don't give you that check, what happens to you? How do you take care of yourself if you ain't got no assets? How do you take care of yourself if whoever controls your financial power, they take away the paycheck? How do you buy food? How do you pay your rent? How do you pay your mortgage? How do you put gas in your car? How do you buy clothes for your kids? How do you pay tuition for your older kids that are in college? I don't know. I don't know how you do that. But that's what the 
historically in our country have done. They've been controlled by the 1%. The 1% has always had their financial power. We have to figure out a way to break out of that. And that's what this channel is about, is giving you information to help you break out of that, like I did. I broke out of it. Yes, it took me 20 years, but I don't care. I'm free now. I don't care. It's better than working till 62. I worked till 51. But I built a lot of assets in those 20 years. I used the 1% and their brunt breadcrumbs, all their little financial breadcrumbs they dropped over the last 20 years. I used every one of them and I built my wealth so that now I have and control 100% of my financial power. And I control 100% of my time. When I get up in the morning, I ain't got to go nowhere. I do whatever I want to do when I want to do it. That's freedom. It ain't about Lambos. It ain't about big houses. It ain't about private jets. It ain't about first class tickets. It ain't about Rolex watches. It ain't about eating at the finest restaurants. It ain't about any of that. What it really is about is freedom to be able to do whatever you want to do. Now, if any of those things are included in your freedom and that's what you built your wealth to be able to do, then go enjoy it. Go have a bowl. Do whatever you want to do because you're free. I'm telling you, if you're not free, give up all that stuff until you get free. When you get free, then go enjoy yourself. But while you're trying to get free, you got to keep in mind, hey, if I don't get free and build assets that take care of me, someone else is going to control my financial power for the rest of my life. And guess what? If I got children, guess who watching me? They watching me. See, these kids ain't going to do what you tell them to do. They're going to do what they see you do. That's what they're going to do. They're going to see what you do. Yep. So if I'm trying to get my kids to a point where they got a better life than I had, then I better be teaching them something about financial freedom. I better be teaching them something about how do I control 100% of my financial power. We talk a lot about generational wealth. Black folks, we talk a lot about that. But yet and still, statistically, and I'm not saying I'm not, I'm not, I'm just telling you what the statistics say, guys. The statistics say we control 4% of the wealth in this country. We ain't got much to pass down. You can change that. I don't care if you pass down $1,000, you pass down something, right? See, for some reason, we think generational wealth means I got to pass down millions and millions of dollars and millions and millions and millions of dollars. No, it don't. Not in my opinion, it don't. My opinion is you teach them how to control 100% of their financial power, and then that is generational wealth. Yeah. See, money, without this... <laughs> You pass it down and they ain't got none of this. They ain't reprogrammed themselves. They're going to blow through that little money. That's gone. Ain't no generational wealth. They're going to be gone. It stops with them. They're going to spend every dime of it. So spend more time reprogramming them, teaching them how to control 100% of their financial power. That's how you create generational wealth. It's just not about passing down money to them. Because if you pass down money to them and they got the wrong behavior with money, they're going to blow through it quickly. The 1% going to get a hold of them and take every dime of it. So generational wealth starts with reprogramming yourself first and then who comes behind you. You got to reprogram who's coming behind you. And in most cases, for most of us, that's our children, right? So I got to reprogram me first. And then I got to start working on who's coming behind me. Reprogram them. Help them understand here's how it works. And then, and then when we leave this world, 
and we leave what, what we acquired and accumulated wealth-wise, then we leave it to them. Now they take that and they double it, triple it, quadruple it, and then they teach theirs coming behind them. Reprogram them, right? They reprogram them that's coming behind them. And then they pass on that money and it keeps passing on. That's generational wealth. That's how you create it. That's how you keep it. Right? Generational wealth could be a hundred grand passed down through the generations. That's still generational wealth, guys. I keep telling y'all, stop letting other people tell you what wealth is. Stop letting people tell you, oh, yeah, you need $10 million because CNN, uh, C CNBC said you need $10 million. That's, that's what the average person in uh, America needs. That's hogwash. I don't care about no CNN. How are they going to tell me what wealth is to me? No, I determine what wealth is for me. I, I give the definition. See, you make the definition for you and your family what wealth is. Stop letting these people tell you what wealth is, man. It's a trap. It's a trap. It's, it's, it's a ploy to continue to control your financial power. Remember I talked about hope? Let me go walk down the street and run into someone who's on hard time right now. Good person, but just on hard time. And that person says, hey, hey, man, you seem like you've done well for yourself. G give me the secret. Can you give me the secret? Give me, give me something that I can grab onto and, 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 and keep hope alive. Now, what do I look like turning around telling this person? Yeah, uh, CNN said you need about 10 mil. Without 10 mil, mm -mm, you ain't going to be you ain't going to be at wealth. That's discouraging, man. Don't nobody want to hear that. That's, see, that, 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 that's just squashing out hope. And that's what, I'm trying to, that, that's what I'm trying to get you guys to understand. Somebody telling you you need $10 million, that, that's quote unquote wealth. No, that ain't wealth for me. Wealth for me is what I determine it is. That's my wealth. You, you, you can determine what wealth is for you, but you ain't going to blanket me and, 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 and control my financial power by telling me what wealth is. No, I can figure that out for myself. I'm going to figure out what wealth is for me. And how did I figure it out for myself? How did I figure it out? 30 years old, how did I figure it out? I said, okay, Richard, 30 years old, man. What is it going to take to get you out of here? What is it going to take to get you out of here and control 100% of your financial power? What is it going to take? What do you need? I said, well, golly, man, 20 years. I'm going to give myself 20 years. 20 years is enough. Boop. After 20 years, I'm out of here. Okay. Got your target date. That's 20 years. How much do you need in 20 years? How much money do you need? I said, for me, I need 10 grand. If I got 10 grand a month in 20 years, I got my assets producing 10 grand a month. That's $120,000 a year. I'm good. Well, well aren't you worried about uh, inflation? Aren't you worried about the, 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 the cost of living 20 years from now? 100K is not going to be 100K in 20 years. Listen, man, in 1990. Two, 1992, I made $225,000 playing for the Chicago Bears. That was in 1992, $225,000. I blew every dime of it. Fast forward, fast forward, 2023, $200,000. It was a lot of money then. I blew through it. It's a lot of money now. I don't care about no inflation. I don't care about no cost of living. $200,000 is a lot of money. I don't care if it's today or 20 years from now. It's a lot of money. $10,000 a month in income is a lot of money today. It was a lot of money 20 years ago, and it's going to be a lot of money 20 years from now. So don't let people, don't let people steal your hope because they're telling you, oh, what you're trying to shoot for is not enough. Who decides what's enough? I decide what's enough for me, not you. Because you want to live on $30,000 a month. That's your problem. My freedom requires 10. And I made that decision 20 years ago. And guess what? When I got to 51 years old, $10,000 in 19, I'm sorry, 2019 was a lot of money. And it still could take care of me. 
Why? Because in those 20 years, I molded my lifestyle around 10 grand. That was the number from uh, 19, what was it, 19, no, 2000 to 2023. That was always the number. Always. That was always the number. And it still is the number today. It's the number. $10,000 for me right now, guys, will take care of me and I will have a wonderful life. Yes, it would. It would take care of me and I would have a wonderful life earning $10,000 a month off my investments that I have. Why? Because, see, I don't need this extravagant lifestyle. See, I don't need private jets. I just get on the, get on the plane like every other regular person, right? Why would I want to pay you four or five times to sit up front than I would to sit in the back? I'm going to get to the same destination at the same time. Yep, you're going to get off the plane before me, but I'm okay with that. See, my lifestyle don't require all this extravagance. I talk to people a lot on my one-on-one -on -one sessions, and I ask them, I say, hey, let's go through this exercise. Let's talk about financial freedom. Let's, let's determine your target date. Let's determine your target amount, and let's determine your target net worth because you're going to need those three pieces of information to build your plan to get to your pot of gold at the end of the rainbow. So that's the first thing we start talking about, right? And then I ask them, I say, well, tell me this. How much money are you going to need when you get to your target date? How much money will you need? Oftentimes, people will say, eh, I don't know, maybe 30, maybe 30,000 per month. And I say to myself, okay, how much money you make now? Oh, I'm bringing home about 5K. So let me get this straight. Your lifestyle right now is 5K, but you want a lifestyle 30K. Can you tell me why? Tell me what are you going to do from 5K to 30K? What, tell me what the lifestyle is going to look like. And they kind of get stuck. Because a lot of times what we do is, is we have this, 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 this image of what we believe it's going to take to take care of us. Right? And sometimes it's not realistic. To generate $360,000 a year in passive income, guys, do you know what your net worth will need to be? To generate that kind of passive income? Do you really know what type of net worth you're going to have to bust your butt and, 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 and face a lot of financial pain to build your assets to generate $360,000? That's about $6 million a year. That's about $6 million in net worth. Now, guys, I'm not telling you you can't go out and build that, but you got to understand that. So I, I got a zero net worth, and I need to bill it to $6 million to generate two hundred and six. I'm sorry, $360,000 a year. Yes, you do. You doggone show do, about $6 mil. And again, guys, I'm not discouraging you. I'm here to give you financial tips and nuggets to help you get there if that's the goal. But understand the type of commitment to investing you're gonna have to be able to do in order to get to $6 million in, 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 in net worth. I don't have $6 million in net worth. Now, I'm not saying you, you can't get there. I'm just telling you that was too much for me. I didn't wanna go through that much financial pain. I'm gonna be honest with you. So guess what I did? I said a 10K is good enough for me. That's my minimum. Now if I, now if I I, I, I shoot, right? I, I, I shoot for the stars. But if I don't get to the stars, I'm still good. So all I'm telling you is, if you want to get to freedom, you've got to figure out what freedom means to you. To me, it was $10,000. To me, it was $10,000 a month. And it still is to this day. I said, if all hell broke loose, Take my YouTube channel. I ain't got YouTube no more. Got nobody following me. Nobody want to hear anything I got to say about financial freedom no more. I go to my assets and I turn them on. Okay, assets. No more active income for your boy. It's all you. I turn on them assets. They give me $10,000 a month. Guess what I do? Lifestyle going to be $10,000 a month. Everything else got to go. 
Everything got to go that don't fit under that $10,000 a month cap. Got to go. Dream house don't fit up under it. Got to go. Right? Three cars that I own free and clear insurance by $6,000 a year. Can't, can't keep up with that with, with, with the 10K. Got to go. Got to let them go. Got to sell them. See, that's how I am, guys. Because, see, the material things don't mean nothing to me. What's most important to me is, is when I get up in the morning, my state of mind. When I get up in the morning, I'm healthy. When I get up in the morning, I have a positive outlook on life. I can be in a one-bedroom apartment as long as it's clean and as long as it's in a good neighborhood. I'm Gucci. I'm Gucci. So don't, all this, all this is just bucket list. This ain't, this ain't the real this ain't the real lifestyle when I get to the golden years, man. This is just bucket list because I'm, I'm, I'm making a lot of money doing what I do. I love to do. And I got a lot of assets. I'm still making more assets. So I'm just living a good life. But this is not the end lifestyle for me. The end lifestyle for me is, right? Less is more. See, that's the end lifestyle for me. This is not the end lifestyle here. This is not the way the lifestyle is going to be when I get in the golden years. In the golden years, it's going to be less is more. You got to think about your golden years. You got to think about how you're going to live. And are your assets going to generate enough income to take care of you? For me, it's going to be less is more. I want to be in a position in the golden years where I can travel, I can be nimble. I can be in one country three months, take the passport, go to another country for three months, take the passport, go to another country for three months, take the passport, come back to America for three months. I don't want to own nothing. I don't want to own no houses. I don't want to own no cars. I just want to be nimble. That's the golden years for me, guys. And the assets. The assets are why I'm building them and building them so I get to do that. That's why right now, while I'm in this, I'm still making some active income, I'm kind of joining my bucket list, right? I'm kind of ticking some things off. I did the car thing, owned the Ferraris, still got the Porsche, GT3, got the M5, got the range, got the, the house, right? I'm doing the things that I want to do, not because someone else controls my financial power. No, 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 no. I get to do all of this because I control my financial power. And I've figured out how to take a high income skill set and monetize it. I've also understand that if you help enough people get what they want, you ultimately get what you want. And that's what I stand on every day when I'm in front of this camera making these videos. People first, money second. As long as I do that, I'm going to be okay. You have to figure out for yourself, guys, what's important to you. You got to figure out what you stand on. You got to ask yourself, do you put people first and money second? I'm just asking you to ask yourself a question. What's really important to you in this life? What are your priorities in this life? And the only reason I'm having this conversation with you guys because it's important. It's important to your freedom. It's important to zero in and lock in, be laser focused on what's important to you. Things or freedom. What's important to you? Things or freedom. Only you can answer that. I can't answer it for you. These gurus out here can't answer it for you. The 1% can't answer it for you. You got to answer that question. What's more important to you? Things or freedom? For me, it's freedom. It's freedom. That's the most important thing to me is freedom. Having the ability to do whatever I want to do with my time. Not having the ability to buy all this stuff. Having the ability to be able to get up in the morning and to do exactly what I want to do. If I want to go out and take a four mile walk, I do it. 
If I want to have a cup of coffee, I do it. If I want to make a YouTube video, I do it. If I want to jump in the car and take a drive out to the beach, I do it. If I want to grab my youngest daughter, jump on a flight, go to Boulder, Colorado, spend three or four days, I do it. See, that is what I'm after. That's it. Question is, what are you after? You got to make that decision, guys. You got to make a decision. You got to figure out what are you after. It's instrumental in your journey to building wealth. Very instrumental. If I don't know where I'm going, I can't put a plan together to get there. I have to know where I'm going. I have to know where I want to end up. Right? You got to know. When it's time to build a house, many of you have built houses before. Right? They just don't show up one day and start digging dirt and, and just put up any old house. Uh-uh. Before they put one shovel in the ground, what do they do? They give a mock-up of exactly what you want, exactly what your end result needs to be. There's a mock-up. Right? There's some drawings that will show you exactly. You work with somebody, they put drawings up that show exactly what that house should look like. And then what do they do? Then they start. Then they roll out the plan. Then they start digging, laying the foundation, walls go up, roof go on, right? Same thing with financial freedom, guys, right? We don't just get out here and start investing. Uh, uh, Richard, why are you investing? I don't know. Guy next to me in the, 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 the the office next to me, he said to do it. So I'm doing it. I don't know why I'm doing it. I'm just doing it. What you invested in? I don't know. I know. I, they told me just to sign the automatic thing to take it out of my account. They'll pick it for me. Guys, that ain't a plan. You better figure out what your plan is. Richard, what, what, what's financial freedom to you? Well, financial freedom to me is controlling 100% of my time. 100% of my financial power. Controlling my own financial destiny. What does that look like? Oh, it looks like me getting up in the morning doing whatever I want to do and got enough money in my assets to generate enough money to pay for it. That's freedom to me, man. It's pretty simple. How much do you need to do that? I, I need about 10 grand, 10K a month. How, many, how much in assets do you need in order to create 10K a month? I need about 2 mil. How do you know you need 2 mil? Well, you know, I, I look at the rule of 200. It says normally 6% is a conservative rate of return on investments when you're in the golden years. Oh, so two mil times 6%, 120,000 a year divided by 12, 10,000 a month. Oh, okay, so that's what you've been working on these last 20 years. Oh yeah, oh yeah, that's what I've been working on. Yeah, a lot of financial pain, but it's worth it because now I get to do whatever I wanna do. Well, when you worried about inflation, did, did you worry that wouldn't be enough? Last time I checked, hundo, a hundo, a hundred K a year, I don't care what, what era. That's a lot of money, man. See the, see, see, the difference is whatever my money I got at, at the golden years, whatever it is, I'm going to reduce my lifestyle to live on that. See, that's the difference. I ain't trying to live some lifestyle above what my, rev, what my assets will create. I'm not trying to live that lifestyle. I'm going to live a lifestyle predicated on what my assets will generate. That's my lifestyle, and I'm good for, with it. Long as freedom come with it, Long as I get to take care of myself, long as I'm healthy, long as I got a sharp mind, able body, spend time with my family, what else I need? Don't you need a Lambo? No, I don't need no Lambo. Don't you need the big house? No, I don't need the big house. Don't you need five or six Rolex watches? No, I don't need no five or six Rolex watches. I've already owned hundreds of them anyways. I'm past that stage of my life. I don't own hundreds of Rolexes. I don't. I, you, 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 you. Oh, 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 I got to let you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I flipped watches for 15 years on the Internet, buying luxury watches, flipping them. Bought plenty, plenty, plenty Rolex watches, wore them, flipped them, made money, kept buying them, flipped them, made money. So I don't that don't mean nothing to me. That's why I don't wear any now. That's why you never see me with any on. Every now and then you guys will catch me with a watch on. But I don't normally wear watches no more because I've, I've done that part of my life. That ain't important to me. That's why I made the video about three months ago saying I ain't never buying no more supercars. I done done that. 
I've done it. All I'm worried about now is getting on this YouTube channel, giving people my opinion on how to build wealth, helping as many people that want to be helped, right? And then looking forward to enjoying the rest of my life, being healthy and enjoying the rest of my life, a simple life. That's it for me, man. And when I leave this place, my children, my children will be able to control 100% of their time. They'll be able to control 100% of their financial power and they'll control their financial destiny. That's it. That, that, that's the mandate. That's, that's, that's the, that's the uh, generational wealth I'm going to pass down. And, and whatever money's left, they get it. They get it. But the real thing I'm trying to put in them right now is, is, is how this thing works and how they can maneuver it to create a reprogram for themselves so that they can control 100% of their time, that they can control their own financial power. That's generational wealth. That's what we need to be passing down to our kids. It's cool to pass some money to them, but if they ain't reprogrammed, they're going to spend it all. It ain't going to be passed down past them. Please understand that. And again, that's just my opinion. You can agree with it or disagree with it, but it is my opinion. And I stand on it because I've seen it happen too many times in my, in my banking days. I've seen too many of my clients pass on, kids get all this money, blow right through it. Why? Not reprogrammed. They had no financial literacy, had bad behavior with money. And for us black folk, we already only control 4% of the wealth. 96% of the wealth is controlled by somebody else. So we, 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 got, we got some work to do. We got some work to do. Y'all know we do. I ain't telling you something you don't know. Y'all know we got work to do. We got work to do. We got to stop fighting with each other and, and, and start encouraging each other. We got some work to do because we're at the bottom of the financial totem pole in this country. Well, all right, guys, I'm going to get on out of here. It's getting dark. Sun going down on me. I'm going to get my butt in this house. Finish up my Saturday. Get ready to go watch these Florida Gators. Right? I got to watch these Florida Gators. They come on at 7.30 p.m. Eastern time. Got to watch them boys. Y'all take care of yourself, man. Finish up this weekend strong. But take some time out, and I want you to think about what's important to you financially. I want you also to think about where you want to end up. And then I also want you to determine if, if what you're doing today will get you there. If it's not gonna get you there, keep tapped in. Keep tapping into these videos and keep listening to this information. You never know when you're gonna hear something that's gonna change your financial life, right? So keep tapped in, keep watching. Make sure you hit that thumbs up for me, guys, before y'all get out of here. Please hit that thumbs up. I really appreciate it. It goes a long ways. It goes a long way. So please hit the thumbs up before you tap out of here. It would be greatly appreciated. Also, if you want that Weeble offer to get up to those 12 free stocks, click on that Weeble link below. Open up that Weeble account. Go get your free stock. Go get your free money. And then send me an email. Email address down in the description box. Send me an email. Let me know you opened the Weeble account. And I'm going to send you that Weeble tutorial video so that you can learn how to use the Weeble app to start building wealth through paper assets. Thoughts become things. If you can see it in your mind, you can hold it in your hands. You guys keep chasing your greatness. Never stop believing in yourself. And I'm going to catch you on the next video. Peace.